In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install ADCS and then issue AS and SSL certificate. So I am using my machine H3 VM1. In this machine, I am going to install Active Directory Certificate Service. As you can see already, this machine is Active Directory Domain Controller and DNS, but in real environment, better install ADCS on another machine. It's available in the rules and uh, yeah, default settings. Go ahead with next and install right now. I choose only certificate authority right now. Okay, the installation is over, so I need to do the initial configuration. And the username is uh, administrator, that means we're managing this Active Directory Certificate Service. Let me tick uh, Certificate Authority. And then this one is going to be my Enterprise CA. And uh, this is going to be by, um, by my root CA. And creating a new key. And going to the default settings and it creates a private key and keep in the server. So by default it is five years. Yes, I configured the certificate. Now if I open this certificate authority, you can see these options like revoke certificate list, issued certificates, pending request and certificate templates. If I click certificate templates, these are the templates available. And these are default templates. I can create, uh, if I want, I can create a, a duplicate, I mean another template by my own with the, my settings. So now, so I need to inform all the other machines in my network that you need to trust one more ADCS, that means the on-premise ADCS. So I'm giving this update through a policy. Okay, so I'm already in the domain controller. So let me configure the group policy and push it to the clients. So these clients will get to know there is one ADCS in their premise so that they can they need to trust that CS and whatever the uh, certificates from that uh, device, I mean, they need to trust them. So these are the two certificates and uh, go for the default, just enable that one. And the third one is uh, certif client service and auto enrollment properties. Just put two tick marks and click OK and give GP update. Now I'm moving to the second machine, X3 VM2. 
uh, there I, I can show you my certificate uh, manager window whether I have my certificate installed or not there you can see nobody is there because the policy is not updated So now, what I need to do is, I need to do a gp update space forward slash force command to download a copy of the policy. Okay. And after that, uh, I need to refresh my certificate manager window. Now you can see the information about the ADC is, is available here. That means this PC is trusting the ADCS. Now for issuing the certificates, I mean my plan is to request for a certificate from the web server and install it. For that I need this policy or I mean the service need to be installed in the ADCs. I mean if you have that service running in your ADCs, any machine in your client can request for a certificate from ADCs through web. Let me install this service and later I will install a web server in the uh, VM2 and request for a certificate from ADCS. Okay, the installation is over. I need to do the configuration. So let me click on that configure active directory certificate services through the notification bar or from the previous window. Just go through the default configuration, that's it. So that service is ready up and running now.
already I have web server installed. Okay. If you have not available, then uh, just install the web server. Now what I'm trying to do is my S3 VM2 is 70.1 and this is 70.2. Okay, 70.2 is holding a web server which is HTTP and HTTPS is not working because of no SSL certificate. So the next uh, thing is I must uh, request a certificate from ADCS. For that I must be in the web server and expand the sites and uh, I mean there is no binding so there is no binding available for HTTPS now uh, I'm contacting the web server with the IP so better to have a name so let me create a uh, domain name so you can see I'm creating a domain name here for 70.2 that is www.rola.com so if you access if you type www.rola.com you get the same window This is not mandatory for the testing purpose, but uh, in real environment, uh, you must configure the domain name. Now, I am requesting for a certificate from the ADCS. You need to provide the credentials and to get a web page from the ADCS. So here I haven't created the request. So now I'm going back to IAS and uh, open create certificate request and create a request for the name. That name is exactly the same as the DNS name. That means www.trolla.com. The remaining information is so uh, you can choose whatever you want. I mean, give proper information. So I'm keeping the default configuration because the same configuration configured uh, templates are available in the ABCs. So I created the certificate. Now I need to open that file from the desktop, and this is the request. I need to copy and paste it on the page on this web page and choose a template that is web server and submit and then it opens up another page with the option to download a certificate and you must download that file and save it in your computer and double click on that file to install the certificate in your certificate manager store so that that certificate will be available in your store so that you can use it for later purpose now everything is over i mean now just next point is to do the binding so add https and use the ip address if you want and the host name www.rola.com that is my dns name and choose ssl certificate that recently just now i got it and uh, and uh, restart your web server 
now type the address https then your domain name www.rolla.com it will take a little bit time but in few seconds i mean a few seconds then the normal timing it will you get the page and if you go to any machine in your domain like uh, those machines are actually trusted by are actually trusted machines from that machines what you can do is you can type https.www.roller.com and your website is now secure this is how you can bind it through a ADC is in your commerce. Uh, thanks for watching.